Bucharest is actually known as Little Paris. This is the cutest bookstore ever. I love it. Hummus, marinated eggplant, baba ganoush, falafel, eggplant, caviar. And it all has like pickled veggies on top. And I'm so excited to eat this right now. Hey y'all, I'm Sammy and this is Tommy. We are currently in Sofia, Bulgaria. If you missed our last video, we did a yummy food tour. And this is the usual breakfast you get when you visit your grandparents. Every one of us is really missing those times. <laughs> We had the best time strolling the city, munching on the gourmet bites, and learning a bit about Sofia's rich history. This city is so old. It's actually built on top of a Roman city. There's all these like Roman artifacts lying around, just like an open air museum. Today we're taking a 10 hour train journey from Sofia, Bulgaria to Bucharest, Romania. the express second class train which left at 8 a.m. and cost $30 a ticket. What's up you guys? We are here at the train station now. We made it just in the nick of time. We have a long train ride but we're excited to see all the countryside. This is gonna be the longest train ride we have ever done. And we have tons of snacks and tons of entertainment so I'm ready. <laughs> Four hours in, it's been pretty relaxing. People are getting on and off quite a bit. We're at a little break stop here for about 15 minutes. So that is the front of our train. We are in car number two. This is our little cabin. Hello. We've been sharing it with lots of people, but it's nice. They have windows that open and armrests. You put your luggage up there, which is convenient. There are outlets. There is a bathroom. No soap, no toilet paper, but there is running water. And this doesn't smell too bad. It's pretty good. You can kind of close your door to get some privacy. Do you even have a mirror? All right, we're moving again. like we're officially in Romania. So our train just made a stop in Ruse. It's a town right on the border between Bulgaria and Romania and the front two cars just attached. officially at the border. We just gave up our passports. Our new engine car just attached. Finally. 
We are in a new country now. We are in Bucharest, which is super exciting, in Romania. So we figured out they have Uber here, and it's going to cost us less than $3, so we are calling them. $2.50 for an Uber. Booyah. Bye bye. I appreciate it. Wait, wait, thank wait. you. Have a good day. Bye. So we got dropped off a little away from our place because Old Town you cannot drive into. The buildings look huge. Tons of statues. Looks beautiful. Excited to be here. It was unlocked. All right, four flights of stairs later, we made it to our place and we are right in the middle of Old Town. There's a nice Guinness pub right below us. It's time to celebrate with the Guinness. Our place is right up there. The Guinness looks so good. Thank you very much. how lively this city is. Awesome train day, definitely recommend it. It was easy. It was 11 hours, so it was very long. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning when we explore this capital. We said we were gonna be out this morning showing you guys the capital, but today we stayed inside all day. Tommy went and got a haircut, I did some trip planning, and now it's the evening time, so we are gonna start by showing you our dinner. <laughs> This restaurant is super cute. It's a Mediterranean restaurant and they have an olive tree growing in the center towards a big skylight. It's adorable. We have our menus on iPads. So techie, I've never had a menu on an iPad. Everything's very eclectic and Mediterranean. We've been traveling and we don't feel very healthy and this was the highest rated health food restaurant on our road. <laughs> <laughs> and it has really good reviews. And I love Mediterranean food. And I really want hummus. So those are all the reasons I chose this place. I got locked out of my iPad. I don't know how to turn it back on. I don't have a button. Do you know how to work this? Alright. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Bye. Salud, mi amor. <laughs> Salud. To Bucharest. I was drinking before I even knew what we were tears into. <laughs> God, that red wine is so good. It's been a long time. It has. It's so good. Good start to the meal. Mm -hmm. So all the walls are doors. It's over 150 different doors around this restaurant. Anything you really recommend? First start, yeah? I recommend you. Hummus, baba ganoush, chicken liver, apron, caviar, some pickles. So Can we do the falafel yeah. one? Vegan, yeah. Oh yes, vegan. I got scared of the chicken liver. Plus I love falafel. The center is going to be good. Mm. Mm. You chose. Excellent, baby. So we just got our hummus platter. We have hummus, marinated eggplant, we have baba ganoush, falafel, eggplant, caviar, and it all has like pickled veggies on top and it looks like either parsley or cilantro. It all looks so good. I'm so excited to eat this right now. I forgot to talk about the bread. We have two different types of bread, yellow type and pink type, because I forgot what he said they were. They're vegetable breads. They look delicious. He said one was like an eggplant something. Oh, beetroot. Beetroot eggplant breads. I knew they were veggie breads. I'm gonna go with pink bread, the beetroot bread. I'm not gonna try everything for you guys because that's a lot of filming. Let's try the baba ganoush because I mean, I think everybody knows what hummus tastes like. Mmm, mm, like creamy pureed veggies. Definitely more of an earthy flavor than hummus has. A little bit of garlic in there, eggplant, very, very good. My favorite thing we had has to be the falafel, the best falafel I've ever had. I'm not a vegan vegetarian, love meat, but I can get used to that and that was so good. So we ordered roasted duck and it came on like a bed of like regular mashed potatoes and we have one in the center with sweet potato and it's covered with sprouts and pomegranate seeds and it's like a sweet maple glaze on top. That is so good. It's so tender. Seasoned to perfection. Delicious. And for dessert we ordered chocolate mousse and it had crushed pistachios sprinkled on top speckled with raspberry glaze. I think it's raspberry. I'm not sure. Mmm. Very rich, smooth, dark chocolate with the crunchy, salty pistachios on top. And it's garnished with a little mint leaf. That's cute. This is delicious. I love chocolate. Mm -hmm. 
eventually. We will eventually. Yeah, yeah. I'm here waiting. <laughs> okay, so we came by to see the courtyard that was constructed by Romania's most famous villain, Dracula, the nickname of the guy who actually did it. But under construction, as always, that goes in our travels. Everything we want to see is always under construction. It does look cool in there. This is the cutest bookstore ever. I love it. We are in the famous bookstore. It is over six floors and over 10,000 books. It is absolutely beautiful. I found the best one. And they say I love you in every language in the world. This is one I would buy. That's so cute. Monastery. It's sad. We really wanted to see it. Yeah, it has like a cute little courtyard in there with all these little vines and columns. So Bucharest is actually known as Little Paris, mostly because the architecture and the big boulevards. So we're gonna go try to find a little part of Little Paris here. through what's called the Maca Passage. It's what's considered to be like comparable to like the little Paris. But to me, it feels a little bit like Paris, Vegas. It's very trendy, everyone's like smoking hookah. It's a cute little street to hang out on. Have a drink. So we're about to enter this antiques market. It's in this old bazaar. It's all Gothic style. Let's go check it out. So there's just a bunch of jewelry and there's no filming. That's it. We are dying for some water. I'm like so parched, I can barely talk. We cannot find a single little mini market anywhere. I mean, maybe we're just missing all of them, but we've been all over this old town and there are no markets. Lots of clubs, lots of strip clubs, lots of bars, and lots, and of, lots of restaurants. Water. <laughs> Thank you. Umbrella Street. This is pretty cute. The statue behind me gives me a very like Edward Scissor hand vibe with that little thing over there. You see it or no? In the day now, we're gonna head up to the Porta Vida bar. It's supposed to have a panoramic view. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the city and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>